You want to stand with us? We'll sing unto the Lord. As we sing it again, why don't we just move around and shake hands with some folk. Greet them in the name of the Lord. Tell them you're glad they're here. The righteous run into it. They are saved. The Lord is a strong tower. of the Lord most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. our hands unto the Lord. Praise. Let's sing another chorus this time if we could. It feels good in the house of the Lord, don't it? Amen. We're just going to lift up the name of the Lord because He's great and He's greatly, greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will trust in you. We're going to trust in the Lord, aren't we? We're going to trust in the Lord. Lean not into your own understanding, but trust in the Lord in all thy ways. Acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. Yes. Oh, I'm going 
going to lean on the Lord. For you are the rock of the age. age. I would trust in you always. Thy word, O oh Lord, is a, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto, unto my path. My faith is in every, every word. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Oh, ancient of days, for you are the rock of the age. I will trust in you. Oh, can we just praise him? I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. As you remain standing, I feel a wonderful refreshing of the Lord. It feels good in here, doesn't it? It's just good coming to the house of God. Amen. So glad that you could come out on this cold Wednesday night. We had some ice and some snow, maybe. We kind of met kind of dodge the bullet, but I don't, I don't believe we're going to dodge the bullet probably tomorrow, are we? Tomorrow night, it's supposed to, a lot of snow, I think, supposed to come in. So let's have a good time while we can, amen? amen. <laughs> Praise God. I want to, we're going to pray right now. I'm going to call out some names. Uh, Brother Fred Horner is sick. Uh, Charles Phillips has cancer, but he got a real good report. They feel like they're going to be able to treat his cancer, so thank God for that. But I want you to pray for Charles' soul. He's been telling Jim for years, last three or four years, that he's fixing to get in church. He's fixing to find him a church. And we went a couple of years ago, and we, Brother Buford, myself, and Jim, we taught him a Bible study. And so just pray that Charles will, if he don't come to Darden, pray that he'll go to a truth-preaching church that preaches Acts 2.38. Amen. So pray about that. We're praying for Aniston, and she's, uh, Sister Linda's going to be ministering here in just a little bit, but she's got her radiation treatments uh, through, and she'll probably be talking about Aniston a little bit, and she's going to start chemo uh, in a few weeks, so we're praying for her, amen. I feel like God's doing a great work in her life. Betty Ivy, Danny Grissom, Ricky Lemons, Barry Dennison, Brother Red Weatherford, Brother Larry Herndon. Candice, Aiden, Cameron, Haley, Micah, let's pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The Bible tells us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for our nation, our military, our world. Let's pray for lost souls, and let's pray for the MIAs. That's missing in action. Let's pray for the prodigal. You know what brought the prodigal home in the Bible? Somebody say the pig pen. Let's just pray people have, who have left God that God will put them in a pig pen. And they'll think about the Father's house. And they'll want to come home. I believe God can give us a revival of the prodigals. If, if all of our prodigals come home, we'll be full. Amen. Let's pray for lost souls. Praise God. Anybody want to shout somebody's name out over here? How about in the middle? Lost children. Let's pray for lost children. I, I'm... This is uh, January the, what, 20, what, 20th, and I'm keeping my New Year's resolution. How you doing, Brother Roach? Got my last one right there. <laughs> I knew I'd see him at church. <laughs> That's my last one, but for 20 days we've made it. Let me tell you about Seth. He's called me like seven days. Isn't that great? So I appreciate that. Amen. So uh, anybody over here? Yes. And aren't we so happy? To have this wonderful family, the Seagraves family with us. Let's give them a good hand. <laughs> Amen. We're glad to have y'all among us. You have a prayer request? Amen. Amen. God touch in Jesus' name. Brother Terry. 
Amen. Let's pray for him. Amen. All the, and Brother Dalton, he's going for the doctor tomorrow morning. We're praying for Brother Dalton. He's having trouble with his left eye. So we want to remember Brother Dalton. I'm sure I'm missing somebody else. All the unspoken requests, just lift up your hand. And that'll, that'll cover everybody. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord God, we come boldly, Jesus. I pray you would minister. Lord, you heard every name. You heard every situation. God, I pray that you would just let healing virtue flow. Jesus, we bring our needs to you. You told us to ask, to seek, to knock. You told us to bring our needs to you. And that's what we're doing right now. Lord, I pray that you will heal the sick. I pray you will save the lost. I pray, God, you would bring the prodigals home. Lord, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray for the United States of America. Oh, God, I pray for our military. I pray for our world, God. Heal and touch. Bless this service. Bless Sister Linda. Anoint her. Give us ears to hear and a heart to receive. In Jesus' name. And you can be seated. I'm going to make some announcements, and then we're going to sing a course. And Sister Linda is going to come and minister here. We're going to give her plenty of time, and we want to hear about what God is doing in their life. And also, she's going to minister the good word of the Lord. And I want to encourage, Brother Michael, do you mind just walking up here again? Did anybody, Brother Michael Bright, did anybody sign up this Sunday, Brother Michael? No? Nobody? Did anybody come up to you? Oh, they did? You got a few numbers. This is... Need some more. That's right. Need some more. If, uh, uh, you know, we may have some bad weather. We may not have church. And say this is how you're going to find out if we're not having church. Make sure you give Brother Michael your name and a contact number. And let me tell you about this number. It does, sometimes you have to l wait a little few seconds before it starts talking. Okay? And then give it, give it a chance. It's a 1-800 number. So if you give Brother Michael your number and name, and then if... You know, you get a call, 1-800 number, it, it, you know, just listen and a message will come out. And like if someone passes away, any news from the church that you need to know will send out a message. And it's been such a blessing for us. And I appreciate Brother Michael setting this up. I say, if you want something done, you just holler at Brother Michael Bright. Praise God. We got some great guys in this church. Thank you, Brother Michael. So give him your number. And we'll put you on the caller list of the church. Used to, when we would have like a snow service, it'd be ice on the ground and uh, snow, and we're going to dismiss church. I'd have about six or seven people I would call. I'd say, okay, you call this half, and I will. So we try. And then almost every time, somebody would call, why ain't y'all having church? You know, we forgot somebody, you know, almost every time. But this way, we're, we're getting everybody, I reckon. I hope we are. And, um, so thank you so much for cooperating, and it's for your benefit. Amen. Let me mention that we appreciate Brother Brad uh, Mays. He did a great job auctioning our baked goods off, and Brother Nelson Jr. helped him, and they did such a great job. And we raised, was it almost $2,000? Almost $2,000. let us give ourselves a hand for that. Thank you all for baking the cakes and buying them. And I tell you, we had fun doing it. Y'all had fun spending money, didn't we? My wife spent all our money. But Nelson, you're trying to get more out of me. <laughs> but uh, so thank y'all. And this is going to help our young people. They're going to take a trip next month. Thank you for doing that. We appreciate that very much. Uh, don't forget Sunday, this morning, or this coming Sunday, we're going to have church here. Uh, we're going to have a great time in the morning, 10 o'clock. Invite somebody to come to church, okay? Uh, we had, uh, a hundred, I don't, I rarely do this lately, but uh, Sunday before last we had 171, and then last Sunday we had 157. Y'all, we need to get to 200. Don't y'all agree? Amen. 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 So will y'all help me? Let's in, invite somebody to church, and uh, so let's work a little bit, and let's, we should run over 200 here, and uh, I remember we, we've, it took us a long time to break the 100 barrier. And I remember we had 99 in church one Sunday. And I remember saying, saying somebody go out there and stop somebody on the road. <laughs> Bring them in here. <laughs> Hostage. Kidnap them for a few minutes so we could have 100. Well, we need to get to 200, y'all. 
Amen. Amen. Okay. So the way we do it is you invite people to church. If everybody would invite people to church, just make it a regular habit uh, during the week. I just I invited a, a a lady at the gym, Lisa, and she said she's going to come. So uh, I'm just and make that a part of your life just to invite somebody to church. And they say the number one place where people come to God at, it's at a worship service. That's where they find God at. So if you want to get your neighbors and your friends and your family and your loved ones, if you want to get them saved, invite them to church. Invite them to church. Praise God. So don't forget that. Next Sunday night, January, this coming Sunday night, January the 24th, we're going to have a youth-led service. And wasn't our, by the way, wasn't our senior-led service, wasn't it great? Didn't we have a great time? Thank you, Brother and Sister Hutto. Did a great job. The youth have got a lot. They, Brother Jeff, you better be on your A game this Sunday night. Brother Hutto's putting pressure on them. They kind of gig each other a little bit. But Brother Hicks did a wonderful job. And the singers, it was just a great spirit. And Brother Hicks, didn't he preach just a timely message? And I admire him so much. He's had throat cancer, and he, boy, he ain't letting it slow him down, is he? And I appreciate that so much. Praise the Lord. Monday, uh, January 25th, will be a Mother's Memorial Banquet for the ministers and their wives, or their husbands, and their spouses, I should say. Thursday, January 28th, there will be a senior, Seniors Night at 6 p.m., finger food and dessert. And then Sunday... January the 31st at 2 p.m., there'll be a baby shower in honor of Brooklyn Reeves Hudson at Corporate Images Community Room in Lexington across from s s Auto Sales. And Brooklyn is registered at Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, and Home Place. Tuesday, February the 9th, we're going to have a painting party for the ladies in the fellowship hall. And I hear a bunch of y'all are coming. And that, y'all are going to have a great time. And uh, we need registra- registration and, and money for ladies retreat Sunday, February the 7th. The ladies always have a great time on their, at their retreat. Friday, February the 19th through Sunday, February the 21st. Brother and Sister Oliver will be with us. And they go all over the place. They just got back from Australia. And they go to big churches, small churches, and all in between. They travel almost 50 weeks out of the year. And uh, so we're happy that we didn't have them last year. It's going to be a little different. Friday night, February the 19th, we're going to have a split session. The ladies will be in the, in the sanctuary with Sister Oliver. And the, the men will go into the gym we may make some coffee, y'all. The men are going to be casual, okay? Jeans and cowboy shirt, whatever. So, and we're going to be in the fellowship hall, and we're going to have a great time. They're going, he's going to talk to the men, and Sister Oliver is going to talk to the ladies. And then Saturday, it's going to be an earlier time, 6 p.m., the following Saturday. We're going to have, both of them are going to be speaking to the whole church. It's going to be for the church, the adults. They're going to speak into our church. And then Sunday morning at 10 a.m., we're going to have one service. We're not going to have any Sunday school February the 21st. Uh, We're going to have, it's going to be for the whole church, but the emphasis will be on the children. But it will be for everybody, okay? And then they're going to leave out that day, but we're coming back that night, y'all, okay, Sunday, February 21st, Lexington, uh, Pentecostal Church, they're going to be with us, February the 21st, Brother David's going to preach, Lexington Choir is going to sing, and the Mount Carmel Church is going to join us also that night, and we're going to fill this building up, and we're going to have a great Sunday night service, let's thank God for that, amen. And then Sunday, as the ushers are coming, Sunday, March the 6th, we will be going to Mount Carmel Pentecostal Church at 6 p.m. for the evening service. And we're going to have a great time. We're going to fill that little church up. And they've asked me to preach. And I'm looking forward to it. You sure y'all want me to preach? All right. 
Man, I'm excited about that. Amen. So don't forget that. Before we take up the offering, somebody's got a birthday in the house. Mm -hmm. Who's got a birthday? Who's 86 in here? Is it you, Brother Roach? What about you, Jeff Reeves? Well, GL? Who is 86? Brother Jeff McDaniel. You look 86. <laughs> Brother Nelson Sr. Let's give him a good hand. Woo! He's 86 years young today. So let's sing him happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Brother Nelson. Happy birthday to you. Give him a good hand again. We love Brother Nelson Sr. God bless you, brother. Amen. We're going to receive our offering at this time. Lord, I pray that you will bless this offering, bless the gift and the giver. In Jesus' name, amen. Sister Linda can be making your way up. Offer up a more excellent praise. Praise to your name. We clap our hands. We lift our hands. Hallelujah. We offer up. We offer up. We offer up a more excellent praise. We offer up. The kids can be dismissed at this time. Praise is to your name. We clap our hands. We lift our voice. We offer up a more excellent prayer. Let's sing it again. Yeah, let's We offer up a more excellent prayer. Clap our hands, we lift our voice, we offer up, we offer up, we offer up a more excellent praise, we offer up a more excellent praise, praise that is to your name. We clap our hands, we lift our voice. We offer up, we offer up, we, one more time, a more excellent praise. We offer up, a more excellent praise, praise that is to your name. We clap our hands, we lift our voice, we offer up. I've been praying I can get through this. I've been cruddy and nasty since Sunday, and it seems like the devil just keeps fighting me and keeps fighting me, and I've coughed and brought my water up here, so maybe I can make it through this, but y'all pray. Um, but Aniston is doing wonderful, and I noticed tonight this is the first time that she's been to Children's Church since November, and I praise God for it. She's, she's just getting better, and she's acting more like herself. Um, and it just gradual, but but she's getting better. Even Sunday night, you know, the the anointing was so thick in here. And even before Brother Hicks started preaching, I, if I could just get her to this altar before this is over with, the it's just so powerful in here. And sure enough, before he got through preaching, he he called her up here. And yesterday, she told me 
that her blurriness was gone. It was just a little bit in her left eye that she's still struggling with. But praise God for it. Just a little bit at a time. And gradually, but she's getting her healing. Um, we do go back February the 8th. Um, the tumor is gone. And the only reason why we have to have the chemo is because the tumor, they can see the bone now. And the tumors eat or eroded at some of the bone. And they're afraid that it's in her bone and it can spread. And since we've already seen it spread once, they're afraid that if they don't do the chemo and run it through her bloodstream, that it'll spread again. And we don't want to be there again. Um, but she's, she's doing amazing, just absolutely doing amazing. I give all the credit and the honor to God. He has kept us. He has never never not been by our sides or any of this every time i need an encouragement every a encouraging word a, a scripture something to hold on to he's right there he's either letting one of y'all text me or he is he's whispering a scripture in my ear the comfort and the peace i don't know how anybody goes through this without god oh he has been he's been with us and y'all can be seated. I don't have a scripture for tonight. Um, and if we'll just pray that the Lord will have his will, then we will get started. Lord Jesus, I ask that you have your will in this service tonight, Jesus. Lord, you meet and minister needs, Jesus. Lord, you touch every soul in this building, Jesus. Lord, anoint every ear, Jesus. Anoint my tongue, Lord. Jesus, we ask all these things in your mighty name, and we praise you for everything that you do for us, Jesus. Lord, I praise you, Jesus. Lord, I give you the honor and the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um. I, I've struggled over a title for two or three days, and I finally, I think, do you believe? That is where I've come tonight uh, with so many things. This, this journey has changed me, and it has lifted something up in me, and it's drawn out faith in me. Do you believe? If we can believe, God can do great things. And I thank you as a church. You have been right beside us. You have, I have felt prayers. Even Aniston has said, Mama, it's like I can almost feel the prayers of the saints. She can feel them at 10 years old. And I thank God for it. I thank y'all for praying and the gifts and even the babysitting. Uh, Sister Brandy and Brother Jeff has took Aaliyah every week. Every week they took her. They've never complained. And even when I ask, they'll say, do you need any more days? You, any. Um, it just, it's amazing. Our church family has really pulled through and helped us. Y'all don't just talk. You show action and you've helped us. You've made this journey bearable for us. And I thank you for it. Um, but even Aniston, she tickled me the other day. She was uh, we were laying in the bed, and Make-A-Wish has called us. The doctors contacted the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and they've contacted us, and Aniston will get a wish. And there was a booklet that they mailed us that kind of gets your, uh, gives you an idea to help you with your wish. Uh, and on one of the pages, it was, if you could be anybody in the world for one day, who would you be? And Aniston sat there for a minute, and she said, I'd pick a superstar. I'd pick somebody like Selena Gomez. Then she sat there for a minute. She said, Mama, if the Lord comes back that day, I'm lost. <laughs> and I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> she said, I'm going to go with Sister Karen. I'll be safe. <laughs> but she blessed me. I mean, even for one day. <laughs> She's not going to take the chance for one day. She's not going to let her soul be lost. But I got. We 